In this video, we are going to look at getting report data out of your cubes and tabular models. Once you've spent time going through and creating a data warehouse slash data mart, um, and then from that making various cubes or tabular models, you need to get some report data going so that you can extract information out of the, the data you've made. Um, of course, you can do that in a variety of ways. First of all, I can go through and in the data warehouse slash data mart, I can put SQL code together. So I have a SQL query window here. Let's design a query in the editing window. And I choose something like sales information or product information. Then how about stores? And I go through and say store name and product name and then some kind of measure value. How about uh, sales units? And it writes a query for me, which I can then use to create a report. Okay, so this runs, uh, but as you can see, I'm getting a, a lot of duplicates here. Really, what I want to do is I want to to group those together. So I'm going to go ahead and get the sum. Of sales units. Total units is fine. And then um, I need to do a group by statement at the bottom. And any columns that are not part of the aggregate need to go down here. Okay, I think it's going to work. Let's we'll see what we get. So once I get my, my answer back, I'll be able to to um, review the data right from Management Studio. A couple order by statements would be handy. Let's go one and two, column one and two. I should get my data. There's, um, looks like American GI and Bear with Cub are our top sellers here. I can get important information using this, but of course it's not very visual. Instead, I'd want to go ahead and probably wrap this up into a view of some type. The sales data. I need to give it a better name than that, but nope, you can't have an order by clause in there unless you do this little trick. Okay, top ten or top thousand. There we go. It's kind of a cheat, but it'll work. And now I can open up something like Excel and easily go through and make a report. Oops. Make a report that pulls in that data. I'll make a pivot table. And store, product, and unit totals. And of course, I could also go through and find another area. Uh, let's say, make a, a pivot chart. How about, I don't know, pie chart. And that's a little busy, so I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see. I just want to move that. There we go. Something along those lines. But uh, anyway, the point is, is that with Excel, I can certainly get a much more visual report than I can from Azure Studio. And so, you know, a lot of times people use Excel. Now, if I want to make a report against a cube, I can do the same thing. I just come over to announce a server. And uh, I have the maximum sales DM here. And I can go through and browse the cube. Of course, this uses MDX. But I can get the same kind of data from here. 
uh, sales units and then I want store and I want product and there we go so uh, as I said this is using MDX code so the codes a little bit different and I can certainly take that code and run it but most people aren't going to use this they'll want to use something else and that again would be Excel that's a most common tool to use I just connect to analysis server this time and go through and pull out the data pivot table report and let's see sales units and I want um, store and product same as before and of course I got product and I can uh, make the same chart so this one is from the data warehouse this one is from the uh, cube and of course nowadays we have the option to use tabular support so I have maxman tabular sales here uh, I can go ahead and click on that and um, browse as well you see that it's certainly similar uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this report this time it's uh, it's also using MDX but I'm querying the tabular model instead and once again people are not probably going to use this piece but what they are going to do is back over here in Excel they'll make a connection still to announce the server but this time we have to tell it a different server our tabular installation and maximum sales tabular there's our model and finish right, sales and stores and pivot table or pivot chart and there we go so we've got one report in which case we had to actually write the code for it put it in a view but once it was in a view it was just easy to use and, uh, that was from the data warehouse slash data mart this one here of course is the same thing it's just that um, it's coming from the cube and this one's coming from the tabular model in all cases that was really quite easy once everything gets set up to go through and make simple reports and um, Hopefully that uh, you can that you can see how this particular piece of software um, Excel can be useful for tying into all of that data.